Over the last two years, I have tracked every single spot mismatch that I have played in order to determine what the actual probability is of getting a times 10, times 100, and times 333x battle. This information is not public and cannot be found anywhere online, so I decided to do the research myself. In this video, I'm going to cover three things how a 100 times and 333 times battle is caused, how a times 10 battle occurs, and explaining away common misconceptions about how they happen. So let's start with 100 times battles. It is a bit tough to explain how they work, so I'll try to be as precise as I can. At the start of the match, all festival shells from each team are counted up. Festival shells are different than conch shells that are used at the gotcha machine. Let's assume that team A has a total of 3 festival shells, and team B has a total of 8 festival shells. A randomizer wheel is then spun, where if it lands on green, then that team activates the trigger for the battle to be 100x. According to the simulations I have run and data I have tracked, a festival shell adds 0.25% to the green area. So that means in our example, team A has a 0.75% chance of making the game become a 100x, and team B has a 2% chance of doing it. Thus, having more festival shells in the play means more likely to get a 100x battle. Only one of the teams needs to land in the green, and then the battle becomes 100x for everyone. Now comes the tricky part. If either Team A's or Team B's wheel lands in the green, then the other team automatically receives festival shells until each player has 7. That's the max a player can have. This increases their wheel's green area to cover 7%. Should the wheel now be pointing in the green, then a 3 through 3x battle occurs. The wheel does not respin to do this, it just rechecks where it is pointing to, to see if the increased amount of shells cause it to be pointing to a green area. After 100x or 3 through 3x battle, all players lose all of their festival shells, and you have to start earning them again. According to my data analysis, over a long term average, 1 out of 45 games, or approximately 2.22%, are expected to be 100 times battles. If we factor in the 7% chance for it to become a 3 through 3x, we get 1 out of 643, or 0.15% of games, that will be that triple three multiplier. Seeing the numbers being so low makes it obvious why you might not get any during a particular spot fest. So let's look at times 10 battles. Given that the match is not a 100 times, meaning neither team landed in the green, and the game spins a new wheel to determine if this match will be a times 10. Out of the 2,481 matches that were not times 100 that I tracked, 217 of them were times 10s. Doing some simple probability, we are able to be quite certain that the chance of hitting a times 10 battle on the wheel is about 8.5%, or 1 in 12 games. Winning one of these times 10 battles earns each player on that team a festival shell. Let's assume that you win 50% of your matches. That means on average, you will gain one shell per 24 battles that you play. As mentioned previously, the festival shells are what increase your chances of triggering 100 times battles, meaning you want to win them as much as you can. I hope that made sense. If not, I'm happy to answer any questions about how this process works. But for now, let's move on to some of the myths surrounding multiplier battles. First, if nobody on your team has any festival shells, your team cannot trigger 100 times battle. The other team can still make it a 100x, but you can't do it. Two. The only sure way that you can increase your chances of a 100 times battle is to play with a full squad. That way when you win a times 10 battle you take 4 festival shells with you into the next battle as opposed to the one that you would take by yourself. 3. Conch Clashes These battles happen when a times 10, times 100, or times 333 battle spawns during a mirror match. These matches do not award any clout nor does a times 10 battle award a festival shell. But a 100x and 333x battle is still possible and does let you board the float with the idols afterwards for pictures if you win. 4. The upper left live news section, when you're in the lobby, is not actually live updates. It is only showing info based on what your friends and others in your pool have done and if they won multiplier battles. It is otherwise meaningless and not an accurate representation of which Splatfest team is winning overall. It is a preset cycle to display. It also has no influence on causing times 100 battles. 5. There is no set amount of multiplayer battles handed out, nor a specific time when they are all dished out at once. Each match is independent from one another. And that's it. The process itself isn't too complicated, just rather difficult to explain in clear words. But thanks for sticking around until the end. I hope you were able to learn more about Splatfest matches, and if you're interested in more Splatfest content, I explained the most overpowered tricolor strategy in this video.